hello there. If you like the video in the next two seconds, you're a legend, mate. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on as well. Ladies and gentlemen of the sausage variety, welcome to Royce to Glory once again, guys. Episode 62 of Royce to Glory. And today we have a jam-packed episode once again. Lots of content in this video, guys. So strap in, get yourselves a bit of popcorn or whatever you do to chillax with these videos. And let's get cracking. Because, obviously, as you may have guessed by the title of this video, the first port of call is that we have sold Team of the Year, Kylian Mbappe. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, but Reeve, that's kind of downgrading the team, isn't it? But considering how much he's actually worth and the amount of stuff we can do with the coins that he is worth, it is worth us actually just having the regular inform Mbappe as opposed to the Team of the Year. Because now we have 5.3 million coins and I've done a lot of stuff between the end of last episode and this one. So you'll see kind of why I decided to sell Mbappe and keep the coins. So farewell, sweet prince. We sold him for about 5.3 million coins. Now, I sold him before when I thought football birthday was actually going to be released but it turns out it hasn't been released or didn't come out on the Friday when everyone expected it to so Mbappe's price now has actually gone up even more because I thought as there was going to be a promo he'll come down a little bit it, obviously people will be opening packs so his value will drop but sadly there has been no promo for foot birthday or at least it's been postponed because of all the stuff that's happening in the world currently so therefore his price has actually slowly creeped up again, which we've lost about 100k on what we could have made. So I'm not too bothered about it, but it's just a little bit annoying. But the biggest grind that I've done in recent months comes with the Bundesliga player objective SP... Well, it's not even an SPC, it's the objective for the Bundesliga league player in Verstrat. And I tell you what, boys, it took me a long time, especially to get goals with the likes of Paderborn, Union Berlin, etc. It was difficult in Rivals. But we managed to get the 86 version, and as you can see, guys, I'm bringing you back in live. Here he is, the 86 version Verstrat. Lovely card. I mean, very, very nice, and probably going to be the second CDM. Alongside a huge new signing so we got rid of Mbappe but we also brought in another CDM and this is one of the best cards for under 200k I have tried on FIFA 20 and you can hold me to that statement because it actually is this Delaney headliners card is phenomenal now I know it says he's only got three goals and two assists in nine games but he's a CDM He's mental he's actually quality and I'm really really pleased we've purchased him I know as you can tell that we obviously out we really enjoy SCN but I think the next pairing that we are going to go with in CDM I know it seems like a bit of a downgrade from SCN and Lena but the strap will who will come on to in a second and Delaney together seem to be very effective like we still have the height six foot obviously this the strat card is a little bit smaller but he gets it amongst the he gets amongst it a little bit more it's kind of like a kante style card whereas if we sell sen as well that's another 1.3 or so million coins that we can free up in the club for whatever future promos team of the season etc so i'm trying to verge in going untradeable cards as opposed to tradables because then we can't lose any coin value however in today's episode as i was saying we're going to come on to this verstrat we are going to be upgrading this card because i've done some of the objectives already to upgrade him actually we've just completed the foot champs 12 out of 12 as well icon swap so this will be contributing to maldini who we're going for next in icon swaps three so i'll redeem this barrowan welcome to the club son and as you can see as well guys we've completed both the libertadores and the pseudo americana sbcs because we are looking for high rated sbc fodder players in order to complete player moments alexandro or potentially player of the month Kylian Mbappe if he gets the award. Right, I'm waffling a little bit, so let me talk to you about what's actually important. Bundesliga League player upgrade. We're going from a Verstrat 86 to the Verstrat 88 because the stat upgrade is really good. I know this like plus two, plus three in all stats. So, I mean, he's already a good card. This card's going to be even better. So we're going to do these two games in this video, hopefully. So all we need to do is get an assist in two rivals wins with the 86 for Strat. Now, it's easier said than done, but we're four out of four so far. And... He's very capable of getting assists, which is obviously going to make the checkpoint a little bit easier. But before we get to any gameplay, guys, or anything further in this video, just to let you know, we're edging closer to 800k before my birthday, and I cannot thank you enough for the support recently. But if you are new around here, you're stuck inside in quarantine, and you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing, because 
As I say, when you do, Mini Marco gets a cookie and he is full to the brim of chocolate chip cookies. He's been overeating for the past few days. I can't stress it, it probably stress it at this point because so many new subs, he's been force fed cookies. But because there's so much stuff to talk about and I, I'm still waffling at this point, we've done the Icon Swaps 2 online so we get experience for this. I think we've also completed the next level in seasons which is level 15, which means we actually get a player. We're halfway through the season Level 15 gives us either Sergeant Maeda or Thorsby. Now, actually, this Thorsby card looks pretty good. Six foot two. Whoa! Huh? And he's Norwegian. Syria. Very nice. But the only player that I did really want from this selection is going to be Maeda. Because not only is he good for Japanese checkpoints, but he's also from Liga Nos, which means any Portuguese league checkpoints we need in the future. He's a useful card. He's got 99 agility, 99 stamina as well. So we're going to take Maeda, especially because he's actually just a genuinely good card. Like... I mean, not in a, as I was saying, 99 agility, 91 finishing, 99 stamina. Looks like a solid, solid centre forward. So we're going to store him in the club. And now, of course, as I was mentioning, we've done the Sudamericana SPC and Libertadores SPC. So we're going to redeem our rewards and the players we're going to take from it. Probably Bustos because, I mean, this is SPC fodder, to be honest. But this card looks very, very impressive anyway. So we'll take him just in case we need another CDM off the bench or another fullback. And then from the Libertadores SBC, we're actually going to take Cardozo because he looks... Actually, do we take Cardozo? I mean, they're both SBC players. Do I... Mm. Ultimately, these are just SBC cards or fodder for a high-rated SBC. But I do actually want to try the Lopez and Bustos pairing. So, I mean, that that if we need if we want to build a squad builder with these two, it'd be quite interesting to see how they do. And they both look very overpowered. So, I'm going to store them in a club. We're going to recycle that SBC. We're going to do the Libertadores and uh, Americana SBCs over and over again until we get all of the 88 rated cards for high rated fodder now i say this because there has been a mid icon sbc released into fifa and the I, I am half tempted to do it, but at the same time, I don't know why I've cycled through the whole thing That's a bit annoying, sorry lads. It's because it's too expensive. All of fodder has boomed, and I don't think that it's good value. We got Eusebio from the mid-icon pack in Icon Swaps 2, and I don't really think I'm going to top that. So I don't see me chucking all of my untradables and stuff into this has any point. So I think I'm going to avoid the mid-icon pack. If there's a prime icon pack released, then I'll probably do that. But mid-icon, I can't really top it. I got Eusebio. I'm going to, you know, I, we got Lippmann in last episode i'm not going to risk it again especially when you can consider that alexandro is cheaper than the mid icon pack and he's the next player that i want to go for so it makes more sense to do that then there also has been a player of the month Jaden sancho released for the bundesliga and unfortunately he's on the left side and because we have Neymar, I have no use for this card. If he was a right winger, I probably would do it. But I can't see me playing him as a left winger at right wing on 7 Kemp. It just, uh, yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. If he was a right-sided player, I might have considered doing him. But I think the next big player of the month player we're going to save for is going to be player of the month Mbappe of Lee Gun. And I think that's coming either today, tomorrow. So the first thing we're doing in this video, guys, is going to be a pack opening. Pretty decent. I mean, I have waffled for quite a bit, but we have 33 packs to open. I'm going to skip the silvers, but I'll show you the decent players that we get in the golds. Brilliant! Because when we get players like this, they, it brings the next time we do the Libertadores slash, in this case, Sudamericana SBC price down. Every card that we get that is a special version can be recycled into the SBC. And we've also packed a Hellas Verona striker. We're making money, boys. This is actually ridiculous. 4K for the second pack. Oh, we got a double pack. Lovely stuff. Two Libertadores players. Okay, 24 packs remaining. Obviously, these are the gold packs, but these are also one or two players packs that I got from completing some of the Verstrat objectives. For example, Werder Bremen, Wolfsburg, etc., etc. The teams that you complete, you get packs for. So I know they're not great packs, they're like one or two player packs, but we might end up getting stuff in them, you never know. Oh, board, yes. Oh, yee. what nation though? Brazil is always decent. CDM, Fabinho, how much is he worth? We might keep him because he could be useful for Alexandro as he's Brazilian. 12K, 12K pack right there. I mean, all we have to do is make 42K back from each of the SBCs. So we're on our way to doing it. So as you can see, these two player packs are from the strat objectives. Oh, but we got another Libertadores card. Nice. And we got a board. No way. What? You don't expect boards from two player packs. Is this Jordan Henderson? No, it's Marcus Rashford. Oi. Thank you. No way. Another board. Inform walkout. 
Spanish in from Walker. Who is it? Send them in. Huh? Oh, it's a team of the week moments. Iniesta, 85. Who's so useful for Alexandro as well. Because you need a team of the week moments for the second squad. And he's Spanish. This pack look is crazy. Is that another board? Surely. Huh? Nigerian? Oh, Wilfred Ndidi. Okay. I've, I, I've never seen that flag pop up before. I don't think I've ever got Ndidi as an 84 rated board on FIFA. That's the first time ever I've seen him pop up. And he's not behind another player in the pack, etc. That's a good pack for a two rare player pack. 84 player again. Oh my gosh, back to back. We are getting treated. These player packs are sick. John Stones, another Premier League player. Is that another board? This is crazy. What? My pack looks never this good in terms of two player packs. 85 Lopez. Sheesh. What? This is really bringing the cost of Alexandro down. I can't believe it. 85s are worth a lot now because of the uh, Icon SBC. Back to back again. Seriously. And it's Aaron Ramsey. Another 83. For a second I thought it was Bale, but then I realised he's got a Team of the Week Moments card. It can't be Gareth Bale. All right, so this is the final pack from the Vastrat objectives that we've done. Obviously, we've still got more to do to get the upgraded version, but these are from the Bundesliga team scoring goal objectives. And that is the final one. And we've got Meunier. Very nice. So the rest of the packs are from uh, Super Americana and Libertadores now. So this is where we should get some decent players. Ah, I jinxed myself. Oh, here we go. Come on then. Be a big one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Croatian? Striker Mandzukic? Oh, Kramaric. Ah, 83 as opposed to an 84. Never mind. Oh my gosh. That is what you love to see. We've got four. Bringing the price down, boys. Every time I'm going to say it, one, two, three, four, Libertadores players. Fantastic. Fantastic. Two more packs remain, one of them being a one player pack, <laughs> and this one being awful. So, swiftly moving on. Here we go then. The final pack is not going to be a board, but it is going to give us Pastore. Yeah, never mind. Right, let's move on to completing 88 upgraded Vistrat. Because as you saw with the team that we built around him, we have to do six... Actually, we only need two left. But the objective was assists in rivals wins with a full Bundesliga squad. And then that takes us to... And that gets it. Uh, yeah, that completes it. But also... I think we're, yeah, we're three wins away from getting a 50k pack. So we might have to play three games. Hopefully we can get rage quits. It doesn't matter if we do or not. But fingers crossed, complete these two and then play another game, win that. And then we'll have a 50k pack at the end. So this is the team that we're going into Div Rivals with. Obviously, the strat is the main man. We are currently playing a 4-4-2 in game so this is how it sets up you can see that our strikers are Royce and Plia, Nabri out right, Rashika out left, Delaney and Vestrat is our centre mids and then it's just a full Bundesliga team pretty much I think a lot of these are first owner as well which actually makes it even more impressive Royce obviously isn't, Delaney obviously isn't but everybody else has not been purchased which is pretty impressive so yeah let's get into a game Assist with the strat and then win the game as well. Alright then, first opponent and wow, this guy is most definitely doing icon swaps because that looks like a first owner Serie A team if I've ever seen one. Assist with the strat, that is the important part. Or alternative, we don't get assist with the strat, we just have to win the game because then that'll help us towards the 50k pack. Come on then, here he is, the main man. Oh, well, that is the agility paying off. Wait, surely we're not going to be able to run through this whole team. Oh, oh my gosh, here we go. Rashika, bang that if you bang it. Oh my gosh, that would have been the assist. Right, we're going to put him on corners as well. Just to give him the chance of getting a corner assist too. Ah, it didn't really work, did it? Where's the ball? Where is the ball? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Here we go then. Place to Vastrat. Who's going to find Marco Royce? Who will basically have to do it all himself at this point. He has done. Royce has done, and that's an assist for Vastrat. <laughs> Vastrat with the over-the-top through ball, going to Serge Nabry, who's actually won it. 
Can he finish it? No, he can't. Yes, he can. Does that count as a strat assist? I don't know. Hopefully. Are the guys quit. Assists? Oh, he got two. Perfect. So it did count. So that means we definitely did get an assist with Restrat in that game. Just to double check that we did indeed get the point. Okay, so we're only one game away. But we're also two games away from a 50k pack. Ooh, getting exiled in. Oh, we're only 10 wins away from a thousand wins. Look at the assists we've been getting with him. <laughs> in doing these objectives. Oh my gosh, 16 in five games. <laughs> we've literally been pumping him out. I played him up top to get the goals as well. So, yeah, let's do it. Come on, one more win. One more win with an assist. Second team is a full Premier League side. Admittedly, way better than the previous team we've just played. Prayer of the Month, Vardy, Inform, Deli Ali, Tarkovsky, and UCL Robertson, and the rest are just regular golds, but they're all very good regular golds. Sala, Sane, Walker. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Assist with Bestrat. And then we have Dunit. Come on. Bestrat plays it to play. Drag back. Finish that. Oh, what a goal, Alessand Pli. Come on, lad. What a finish. Bullet finish. And that is definitely an assist. So all we've got to do now is win the game. And we have an 88 rated upgrade of a strat. And another CDM to replace Essien in the Bundesliga, but heavily Bundesliga-based dream team, I suppose. I don't really know what to call it. I'll show you after this game, guys, what the new dream team is. Fantastic. Alessand, is that a free kick? Oh, wait. Marco Royce top bins there. Okay, I'm pretty sure you just watched my head movement, which is a little bit annoying. I've just realized we don't actually don't need any assists with him. So we can just win the game. Nice, go, 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 Marco, go, Marco, go, Marco. That's a foul. Ref, please, before half time. Quick one, quick one. Nabry to player, to Royce. To, no, why are you not hitting that with your right foot, bro? Your right footed, just wrap it round. Look at those stats. Wait, what? <sighs> There's domination in every sense of the word. Right, so player off for Neymar. I think maybe, maybe Perisic on for Rushika. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll, we'll play Royce out there and then we'll play Perisic up top. Or should we play, no, we'll go Rushika and Neymar. Yeah, so we've brought, we've brought on Neymar in the hopes that this will actually genuinely, oh, well done for Strap. Nice. Neymar dragged back. Near post. No way is De Gea saved that. This keeper is ridiculous. Oh. For Strat finds Delaney, finds Neymar, finds Rashika. Back to Neymar. Little bit of footwork. Drag it across. And a goal. Oh. For Strat. Rashika. To. No. Yes. To Neymar. Finish it. Neymar. Finally, it's past De Gea. It took so long. Oh my gosh. And the person to do it was, of course, Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Well done. Well done. Now we're playing through. Now we're going. Now we're going. Neymar. Neymar. Come on. 3-1. Finally. We're getting, to, we're getting a bit of a breakthrough. It took like 15 shots in the first half, but we're finally getting there. It's actually ridiculous that we're 3-1 up and... I can still say that his keeper has put in the man of the match performance. Here we go then. Delaney finds Rashika, Bounces with Neymar. Back to Rashika. Can he wrap it? What a goal! Oh, you beauty! What a finish from Shapeshifters Rashika. That is a sensationally good goal. All started with Delaney as well, guys. He is the real deal. Thomas Delaney, Hullet Club. Uh, Hullet Gang, sorry. GG to our opponent, 4-1. It probably should have been about 10, but sadly, Dave, David De Gea was just far too good in that game. Like, really too good. I mean, how many saves did he make? Oh my gosh, those stats. Ah, makes me sick. But with that victory, guys, completed objective. Go back into the milestones player section, and we've done it. Bundesliga League upgrade. We've completed the six assist and division rivals wins. Two players pack, but not only this, we also get the group reward, which is an upgraded Verstrat. 88 rated. Now, I'm going to show you his stats because these are some of the sickest stats. He's Kante-esque, boys. Five foot nine, so he's actually a little bit taller than Kante. High, high. Three star, three star. 88 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. 95 shot power with 99 pens. So, I mean, if we ever get to a penalty shootout, this guy's not going to bottle it. 
89 short passing, 92 long passing, 93 agility and 92 balance. That's huge at CDM. Because if he ever keeps and wins the ball, he's going to keep it and keep nippy. Like You know how important agility is in this game, guys. 90 interceptions. If we put an anchor on this card, or if we put like a, what is it, gladiator that does passing and defending, or is that powerhouse? I think a powerhouse on this card would be absolutely insane. Not only would it boost his defending up to like the 90s, but his passing also up to where it should be as well. His agility and balance and all that stuff is far too good to, to have to boost. But he also has 99 stamina, 99 aggression, and 95 jumping with 76 strength. This card is quality. Absolutely quality. So I'm very happy that I spent my time doing it. Huge new upgrade to the God Squad. And I'll show you the new God Squad I have in mind before we head into the next game to try and get the 50k pack. So if we go back into our squad section. So this is the brand new God Squad that I have in mind provided we actually do the Maldini Icon Swaps 3 SBC thing. Now Cannavaro takes a back seat and that's because the lit team of the year will step in for Cannavaro. And the reason why he's going to step in for Cannavaro is because we are going to complete Player Moments Alexandro because he links to Neymar. See how this is all linking? The team looks quality. Now Rodrigo obviously... Doesn't necessarily need to be there, but I've just got Sergio Ramos in there, so it gets a strong link. However, if we eventually have the coins, we could play Team of the Year Messi. Messi could play wherever, Eusebio can play wherever, Royce can play wherever, and Neymar can play wherever in terms of Cam and Striker. That's all interchangeable because they're all so good on this game. The two CDMs that we will have are Delaney and Verstrat, who I am so excited to have in my team. These two look absolutely insane, and together, I think they're going to be quality. Now, there's, there's an average pace there of like 83, 84, or 83 and a half, isn't it really? At CDM, that is sick. That is so, so good. Average defending of like 86.5. Average physical of 87 and a half. It's good. We have a sick CDM pairing and they only cost us 200k between them. Because Vestrat is free. And he looks amazing. Right. So that's the dream team, boys. That's what we're going to go for. Maldini 92 is obviously from Icon Swaps 3. I probably could have gone for Cannavaro, but it's just we took a risk with the pack and it came out as Litmanen. So you can't really predict that. But I do want to try Timmy Adelit. I've heard insane reviews about him. He's a million coins. And for a million coins, it looks like a bargain. He really does look like a bargain. Ramos, I think we can keep it right back. He has got an anchor on him, so I mean, he's got like, what, 95 pace now. He's also got 95 defending and pretty much 95 physical too. So I'm happy to keep Ramos as a right back, especially because he's got high medium work rates. And then have Alexandra as the left back, because he looks insane as well. And then Timmy the Adelaide and Maldini are pretty much end game. So that's an end game back line. So that's what we're going to work towards. Van der Sol will be purchased because there's no way to get him through swaps again. Uh, Messi will be purchased, Delit will be purchased, but everybody else we either already have or will be free from just grinding, pretty much. So we're going to swap out 86 for Strat with the 88 for Strat that we've literally just unlocked. And I think we're going to keep running with the Bundesliga team again. I'm going to have to give this guy a chemistry style and which chemistry style will be the best. I think Powerhouse is the one I said, right? Powerhouse is passing and defending. I think that's the one we're going to go for because the rest of his stats are pretty good. So Powerhouse gives him the upgrades of, let's see how he looks, gives him the upgrades of t plus 10 defending awareness, plus 15 stand tackle. So he's got 98 stand tackle now and 93 slide tackle. That's perfect. He's also got 99 short passing and 99 long passing with 93 vision. So that looks like the perfect chemistry style for the position that we want to play him in. I'm going to keep this team for one more game in Div Rivals because I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. It's been a little bit different. It's not the same as the completely meta team that we usually run as our main team for foot champs, etc. So we're going to play one more game in Rivals, hopefully get a quick win, and then we'll have the 50k pack. So hopefully our third and final game, and this isn't even an Icon Swaps team, is it? Unless it's all first owner, in which case then it would be an Icon Swaps team. But I just assume that everything in Rivals now is just Icon Swaps based. Because as soon as the new set comes out, that's all you see people doing. Come on then, boys. Brand new Vestrat. Let's see how he gets on in the team. Got to make that pass. Nice. Bang that. Bang that. Alisan. Lovely. 1-0. Get in there. Good finish as well. Vestrat with his first involvement as the new 88 upgraded card. And it's a successful tackle. That's lovely news. Royce. Oh! Rashika! 
Yes, 2-0! I thought he was going to be offside for a second, but he wasn't. Thankfully. Royce should have banged that, though. Marco, I'm, I'm a bit upset, lad. Can't stop Palace and Plea, lads. That is 3-0. Oh, my gosh. It could be a quick rage quit, which is exactly what we needed. It is a quick rage quit. 50k pack in the bank. Come on. So, with that quick victory, we're going to redeem our 50k pack. On top of which, we also get a foot icons kit. I don't think we're going to use it, obviously, because we run with the Dortmund kits. But it still looks pretty nice anyway. So, I store that in the club. But the main reward is what we're going for is the 50k pack. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to end the episode. It's been a super successful one. Not only have we managed to do the Sudamericana and the Libertadores SBC, we've sold Mbappe, so now up to way over 5 million coins, which means we can do whatever we want heading forwards and just keep our informed Mbappe, who has been a huge servant to the club, Kind of feels wasted that we got rid of an old Mbappe for a new Mbappe. So after much deliberation, we've sold Team of the Year Mbappe. However, we've also completed the Strat, the Bundesliga player as well. So hugely successful episode. Leave a like on it if you did enjoy it. These are going to be the final two packs. In the next episode, I think potentially we'll go for Alexandra. It just depends on whether or not Mbappe Player of the Month gets released. And of course, if Mbappe Player of the Month does get released... His team of the year card will be less valuable. People will want the player of the month card. So I'm thinking getting rid of him when we did was probably the correct play. But obviously, foot birthday didn't come out. So he's gone back up a little bit in price. However, I couldn't predict that. I thought he were going to drop foot birthday. But this is the 50k pack we got for doing the strat. It is a board. It's an inform. It's a team of the week moment, sorry, because it has to be. And it's a Scottish team of the week moment. Who the heck? McNulty! However, I don't know if this is good or bad. Because there could be 85s and 84s behind this card, right? I don't know. Oh, he's a team of the week moments anyway. I mean, it did look half decent, but it would have been better to have a like, higher rated one than 76. Okay, so yeah. Jonathan Tarr, McNulty is our two best. Dude, it's not even... It's untradeable. Oh, flip. Okay, right. So restore these and then swap the other ones. And then discard them. And then that will be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching episode 62 of Royster. We're a hugely, hugely important one. Because it has affected the future at Royce FC. Because this guy is now in the club. He's sick. And I'm really excited to use him alongside Delaney, who is phenomenal as well. The two powerhouse CDM slash centre mids. And also doing this kind of stuff. As opposed to, you know, heading after the best team of the years and best icons and stuff. Gets Royce involved a little bit more, which is, I think, what people have been asking for. And not only this, we can now sell Essien as well, who is currently... Just give me two seconds. Prime Essien is 1.28 million. So that's another 1.3 million coins that we can have at Roy CFC. So it means we'll be back over 6 mil, so we've got plenty to play with, which is great news. But as always, guys, thank you ever so much for watching the episode. I really do appreciate the support in this series. On behalf of myself and Mini Marco, just a huge thumbs up for you supporting it every day, pretty much. And until next time, guys, I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios.